I just took a shower, so just excuse that. So, two years ago, I attempted to unalive myself, and I ended up in the mental hospital for five days. In the mental hospital, I was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. BPD is known for their emotional outbursts and mood swings, which I do not have. You see, getting angry is a natural human emotion, and I rarely ever get angry, whereas for someone with BPD, it is a daily occurrence for them. And I only get mad when it matters. If I'm passionate about something, I'm going to let you know, and I will go on a rant, and I will get very defensive about what I believe in. But I also have control over my emotions. So if you see me flip a switch, it's not a mood swing, it's me choosing to act that way. Because I know when I need to stop myself, um, and when it's time to diffuse the tension. You also don't know what's going on inside my head. I do deal with depression and I have a lot going on in my mind. I also have abandonment anxiety. And so if you see my mood switch from being really happy and energetic to being really depressed, it's because my thoughts are getting to me. Having a lot of weight on my mind can also push me to be really irritable. But overall, Having these kinds of moods is not a daily occurrence for me, and it is not a major problem. So why was I diagnosed with borderline personality disorder if I really don't really show the right symptoms for it? Here's the answer. The people at the mental hospital diagnosed me with borderline personality disorder purely based on the fact that I have the fear of abandonment and I have past trauma with being abandoned and I attempted to unalive myself because I was abandoned. And when I say abandonment, I don't mean like physically, like my parents just like dropped me off of like the fire station and left me. I mean like uh, emotionally abandoned. I've been emotionally abandoned and uh, um, love abandoned? I've been deprived of love and affection from, from this dude I love, so, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, that's how I was misdiagnosed with borderline personality disorder. Go to my YouTube channel to hear the full story and hear all my thoughts and situation. The link will be here and in my bio.